Real Peppers on excursions. Get him, T-Rex. I can't feel my legs. I'm dying. Sorry, he's, he crapped himself. <laughs> Alright. You gotta fix trolls, I'm telling you. Alright. We're gonna be breaking down a revolver today. I'm gonna show you how to fix a repair that could happen to you. So let's pull you over here. I'm pretty sure the voice wasn't that manly, but <laughs> it's probably more like a girl squeaking, right? Alright. Here we go. Let's get into this. Alright, uh... Yeah, I don't know how many of you want to actually see that before I go ripping it apart, but I just got to get this done today and move on with my life. Uh, little seven shot. It's having a, it's having a little extractor spring issue, and you'll notice when it starts doing that when you close it up, and it's not doing it now. It's not too bad, anyways. It gets a little stiff, but I just want to make sure it's uh, moving a little bit faster. See that? See how it's doing that? It's kind of, it's only going a little bit of the way there. And I figured I'd give this little trick a try. But for those of you out there with revolvers, it's uh, it's real simple. Hang on a second. Get my tape here. If you guys like this sort of thing, please share because some people need that. Now I'm not, I'm not showing you how to build uh, anything. So I'm allowed to show stuff like this. Just certain things I'm not allowed to do. All right. Okay. This is just a repair type video. So you're just fixing something. I don't want it to grip too tight. Making sure it's, see it's just snug. There it is. And then rotate. Come on now. It's gotta be difficult. Everything's gotta be difficult. That tape gets a little slippery. It's not too tight. There we go. It was a little tight, so. Anyways, once you get that done, just rotate, rotate, rotate. And I can hear the jacked up spring in there. I, you can hear it and feel it. I just keep my hand over it in case anything goes flying out. Keep on rotating. Now, before I go all the way out, pull that, push that up, come back. See what I did there? I pushed that out, and so basically, just give it a little shove out, and then go ahead and slide out your rod. You can set that to the side now. Uh, you may need to tighten it up one more time on there. Slide this guy out. It doesn't really matter if you want to take it out now or not. You got a spring in here okay use your tweezer you're gonna need tweezers reach in there grab that guy out because that i'm not sure if there's anything wrong with this tiny little let me see if i can zoom in for you i'm not sure if there's anything wrong with this one or not but i just want to be for sure okay all right enough about that one thing that you should do, that I always do, but I didn't do this time. Let me, there we go. So I'll clean all these up before I put them back in. We got this guy here. Let's just set all that over there. All right. I've got that done. Next up, what I'm going to show you. Let me get my pry, pry tool here. You got two different ones, one for smaller tasks and one for bigger tasks, but you just do something like that. You want to reach behind here. You don't have to remove all this, uh, remove the cylinder from the right, uh, from the pistol. But you see, I've just popped. You just pull, you just push 
and it pops loose, it's, it's just going to be a little snap. But that will slide right off, okay? And leave your collar leave your collar on here. The collar's right there. You got a little collar. That's what it looks like. A little collar. And the smallest end goes forward. The wide mouth portion goes to the back. And I just kind of clean up the gunk around it. And slide her back on. Just like that. All right, now that you've got your cylinder off, that's pretty simple stuff. You got a couple of things going on in here, but there's one item that I need to get out of the other one. This one I'm just doing an inspection, and I want to make sure there's nothing caught in there. There's nothing really in there, so I'm good. I could clean that up before I put it on. Set that to the side. Now, I need to reach in here. But inside here, there's another little spring, and I need to reach in here and get that out. I just want you to see it. It's broken. And I tried to I tried to just repair it and not replace the spring. But you can't you can't do that. Yeah, it's not, that's not right. <laughs> it shouldn't look like that. Uh, but yeah, I got it out. I don't see any fouling or damage in there, so that's okay. But that shouldn't be getting caught on that. And I just wanted to make sure, here's the forward. This spring here should have came out with this guy, because it goes right on here. It should have came out with this, but it didn't. Uh, that's how it should look. And it's, uh, it's just not doing right. And there's my... Uh, this thing locks. I like that that it locks, but all right um, Yeah, this this part was here was crinkled and I had to take it off and then I had to wait for a part to arrive, but uh, You could tell it's it's crooked. It's just not working right and that's not good because it's going to cause problems um, With the cylinder rotation. All right, so there's has a collar and a spring. There's all that I'm just gonna get some uh, some lube action here. Put that in there. Let's clean this out. A little gunky in there. All right, everybody stay down. A little gunky. It'll be all right. All right, add a little oil in there. Add some in here. And there. There we go. So it's all oiled up and ready to go back together. All right. Put my cylinder over here. And we're going to change out that spring. I just want to check that real quick. Make sure that's running correctly too. That seems to be fine. This should go all the way through. I've tried to pick tools that fit in weird places like this one here. Yeah, it's got a little crud on it. It's not bad though. Alright, that goes back in there like that. You have to know how to do this stuff. Because uh, there might be a chance you're, you're in a situation and you're like, whoop. I only got one of these and I need to know how to fix it. So. Alright, now I don't want to go mixing the good springs with the bad. So, uh, good spring. There we go. Good spring is done. I'm going to set that there. Alright. Next, good spring. Good spring, done. Next, good spring. Here's my new, my replacement spring of my not so good item that I had a while ago. And this goes right on here. Look at that. Yep. And that one looks a little bit different than this one. But it is what it is. There we go. It's one end smaller. 
than the other. And you got to snap this on. It's hard to see, but it'll snap in place. All right. So now it's snapped in place. And just like that goes in this direction. Um, slider in there. Nice. Next up. Looks good. Just like that. That's perfect. Now, next up. Next up. Go, everything's starting to come together. Give it a check. Perfect. All right. And looks like the problem might be solved. Add a little lube in here. We'll rotate. Add a little bit more oil in there. Keeps all those parts moving correctly. Especially now you want stuff that works in high heat. These can get pretty hot. There we go. And that's how it should work, right there. That's perfect. And it's repaired. It's that easy. That's how you do it. And I figured I would share. And that's me sharing today. Uh, <laughs> you're, and, and all models, I want to let you know, all models between... Like, uh, for example, this is an M66. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got Taurus, Smith & Wesson, whatever. It doesn't matter. They all work pretty much identical. So what I did today, you could um, you can pop off a cylinder on a Smith & Wesson the same exact way. It doesn't matter which revolver I show you. They, they will do that. So that's how it works. And a lot of people don't know. So I'm sharing, and you're watching this with us. I'm Stosser and Brennus. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. Please share. Take it easy. God bless.